Judge Dredd. Judge Joseph Dredd is a fictional character created by writer John Wagner and artist Carlos Izcura. He first appeared in the second issue of 2000 AD, 1977, a weekly anthology comic magazine. He is the magazine's longest-running character. He also appears in a number of movie and video game adaptations. Joseph Dredd is a law enforcement and judicial officer in the dystopian future city of Mega City One, which covers most of the east coast of North America. He is a street judge, empowered to summarily arrest, convict, sentence, and execute criminals. In Great Britain, the character of Dredd and his name are sometimes invoked in discussions of police states, authoritarianism, and the rule of law. Judge Dredd made his live action debut in 1995 in Judge Dredd portrayed by Sylvester Stallone. Later he was portrayed by Carl Urban in the 2012 adaptation Dread. When comics editor Pat Mills was developing 2000 AD in 1976, he brought in his former writing partner, John Wagner, to develop characters. Wagner had written a Dirty Harry-style tough cop story, one Eye Jack, for Valiant, and suggested a character who took that concept to its logical extreme. Mills had developed a horror strip called Judge Dread after the British ska and reggae artist Alexander Minto Hughes, but abandoned the idea as unsuitable for the new comic, but the name, with the spelling modified to dread at the suggestion of sub-editor Calvin Gosnell, was adopted by Wagner. The task of visualizing the character was given to Carlos Escura, a Spanish artist who had worked for Mills before on Battle Picture Weekly. Wagner gave Escura an advertisement for the film Death Race 2000, showing the character Frankenstein, played by David Carradine clad in black leather on a motorbike, as a suggestion of Dredd's appearance. Iskura added body armor, zips, and chains, which Wagner initially objected to. Wagner's initial script was rewritten by Mills and drawn up by Iskura. The hardware and cityscapes Iskura had drawn were far more futuristic than the near-future setting originally intended. In response, Mills set the story further into the future, on the advice of his art assistant Doug Church. The original launch story written by Wagner and drawn by Escura was vetoed by the board of directors for being too violent. A new script was needed for the first episode. Mills initially based the characterization of Judge Dredd on Brother James, one of his teachers at St. Joseph's College, Ipswich. Brother James was considered to be an excellent teacher but also an excessively strict disciplinarian to the extent he was considered abusive. In his blog, Mills detailed the moments of rage for which Brother James had a reputation and his own experience witnessing them. The De Los Al monks at the school were a major influence in the 2000 AD design of the judge, jury, and executioner attitude of the judges. The name Joseph refers to the school. By this stage, Wagner had quit disillusioned that a proposed buyout of the new comic by another company, which would have given him and Mills a greater financial stake in the comic, had fallen through. Mills was reluctant to lose Judge Dredd and farm the strip out to a variety of freelance writers, hoping to develop it further. Their scripts were given to a variety of artists as Mills tried to find a strip which would provide a good introduction to the character. This Judge Dredd would not be ready for the first issue of 2000 AD, launched in February 1977. The story chosen to introduce the character was submitted by freelance writer Peter Harris, and was extensively rewritten by Mills, who added a new ending suggested by Kelvin Gosnell. It was drawn by newcomer Mike McMahon. The strip debuted in Prague, issue, number 2. Around this time Iskura quit and returned to work for battle. There are conflicting sources about why. Iskura says it was because he was angry that another artist had drawn the first published Judge Dredd strip. Mill says he chose McMahon because Iskura had already left, having been offered a better deal by the editor of Battle. Wagner soon returned to the character, starting in Prague 9. His storyline, The Robot Wars, was drawn by a rotating team of artists, including Iskura, and marked the point where Dredd became the most popular character in the comic, a position he has rarely relinquished. Judge Dredd has appeared in almost every issue since, most of the stories written by Wagner, in collaboration with Alan Grant between 1980 and 1988. In 1983 Judge Dredd made his American debut with his own series from publisher Eagle Comics, titled Judge Dredd. It consisted of stories reprinted from the British comic. Since 1990 Dredd has also had his own title in Britain, The Judge Dredd Magazine. With Wagner concentrating his energies on that, the Dread Strip in 2000 AD was left to younger writers, including Garth Ennis, Mark Miller, Grant Morrison, and John Smith. Their stories were less popular with fans, and sales fell. Wagner returned to writing the character full time in 1994.
Dreher. Judge Dredd has also been published in a long-running comic strip, 1981-1998, in the Daily Star, and briefly in Metro from January to April 2004. These were usually created by the same teams writing and drawing the main strip, and the Daily Star strips have been collected into a number of volumes. In 2012 Dredd was one of ten British comic characters commemorated in a series of stamps issued by the Royal Mail. Joseph Dredd is the most famous of the street judges that patrol Mega City 1, empowered to instantly convict, sentence, and sometimes execute offenders. Dredd is armed with a lawgiver, a pistol programmed to recognize only his palm print, and capable of firing six types of ammunition, a day stick, a boot knife and stun or gas grenades. His helmet obscures his face, except for his mouth and jaw. He rides a large lawmaster motorcycle equipped with machine guns, a powerful laser cannon, and full artificial intelligence capable of responding to orders from the judge and operating itself. Dredd's entire face is never shown in the strip. This began as an unofficial guideline, but soon became a rule. As John Wagner explained, it sums up the facelessness of justice minus justice has no soul. So it isn't necessary for readers to see Dredd's face, and I don't want you to. On rare occasions, Dredd's face has been seen in flashbacks to his childhood, but these pictures lack detail. In an early story, Dredd is forced to remove his helmet and the other characters react as if he is disfigured, but his face was covered by a faux censorship sticker. In Prague 52, during Dredd's tenure on the Lunar Colonies, he uses a face change machine to impersonate the crooked lawyer of a gang of bank robbers. In Carlos Esquera's original design, Dredd had large lips, to put a mystery as to his racial background. Not all of the artists who worked on the strip were told of this. Mike McMahon drew Dredd as a black man, while Brian Bolland and Ron Smith drew him as white. The strip was not yet printed in color, and this went unnoticed. The idea was dropped. Time passes in the Judge Dredd strip in real time, so as a year passes in life, a year passes in the comic. The first Dredd story published in 1977, was set in 2099, while stories published in 2018 are set in 2140. Consequently, as former editor Alan McKenzie explains, every year that goes by Dredd gets a year older unlike Spider-Man, who has been a university student for the past 25 years. Therefore Dredd is over 70 years old, with 60 years of active service, 2079 to 2140 and for almost 30 years Dredd's age and fitness for duty were recurring plot points. In Prague 1595, 2008, Dredd was diagnosed with benign cancer of the duodenum. How Dredd's aging would be addressed was a source of reader speculation until 2016, when writer Michael Carroll and artist Ben Wilshire published the story Carousel, in which Dredd is ordered to undertake rejuvenation treatment. Regarding the possible death of the character, in an interview with Empire in 2012 Wagner said, there could be many ways to end it, but the probability is that I won't still be around when it happens. I would love to write it, but I can't see it happening. I'll leave the script in my will. Senior Judge Joseph Dredd and his brother Rico Dredd were cloned from the DNA of Chief Judge Fargo, the first chief judge, in 2066. Their growth was artificially accelerated to an apparent physiological age of five, with all the appropriate knowledge for their age electronically implanted in their brains during gestation. The name Dredd was chosen by the genetic scientist who created them, Morton Judd, to instill fear in the population. As cadets during the Atomic Wars of 2070, they were temporarily made full judges to restore order to the panic-stricken streets. Distinguishing themselves, they were chosen to take part in assaulting the White House when the Justice Department deposed President Booth. They were fast-tracked through the Academy of Law, Joseph graduating second in the class of 2079, while Rico came first. Later that year, Joseph arrested Rico for murder on corruption. Twenty years later, when Rico sought revenge after serving a 20-year sentence, Joe was forced to shoot him in self-defense. Joe Dredd excelled as a judge, rapidly gaining promotion to the rank of senior judge. Offered the opportunity to become chief judge in 2101, Dredd declined, preferring to serve on the streets enforcing the law. He has however served temporarily in other senior positions. In tour of duty, Dredd was appointed to the Council of Five, Mega City One's highest governing body, on which he served for two years. On several occasions he saved his city from conquest or destruction by powerful enemies, and in 2114 he saved the entire world during the Fourth World War. Although Dredd holds his duty above every other priority, this devotion is not blind. On two occasions, in the Robot Wars and Tale of the Dead Man, 
Dredd resigned from the force on points of principle, but both times he returned. In 2113, Dredd insisted that the Justice Department gamble its existence on a referendum to prove its legitimacy. In 2116, he risked 20 years imprisonment with hard labor when he challenged the policy of a chief judge, and in 2129, he threatened to resign to persuade another chief judge to change the city's harsh anti-mutant apartheid laws. In 2130, Dredd was diagnosed with cancer of the duodenum, though it was benign. Numerous infamous criminals, or perps, short for perpetrators, in the story's Argo, have featured over the years, including Street judges act as police, judge, jury, and executioner. Capital punishment in Mega City 1 is rarely used, though deaths while resisting arrest are commonplace. Numerous writers have used the judge system to satirize contemporary politics. Judges, once appointed, can be broadly characterized as street judges, who patrol the city, and administrative, or office based judges. Dredd was once offered the job of chief judge, but refused it. The incorruptibility of the judges is supposedly maintained by the Special Judicial Squad, SJS, although SJS judges have themselves broken the law on occasion, most notably SJS had Judge Cal who killed the chief judge and usurped his office for himself. The judge system has spread worldwide, with various super cities possessing similar methods of law enforcement. As such this political model has become the most common form of government on earth, with only a few small areas practicing civilian rule. There is an international judicial charter which countries and city-states join upon instituting a judge system. The setting of Judge Dredd is a dystopian future Earth damaged by a series of international conflicts, much of the planet has become radioactive wasteland, and so populations have aggregated in enormous conurbations known as megacities. The story is centered on the megalopolis of Megacity 1, on the east coast of North America. Within Megacity 1, extensive automation, including intelligent robots, has rendered the majority of the population unemployed. As a consequence, the general population is prone to embracing any fashion or craze they encounter. Mega City 1 is surrounded by the inhospitable cursed Earth. Much of the remaining world's geography is somewhat vague, although other megacities are visited in the strip. Mega City 1's population lives in gigantic towers known as city blocks, each holding some 50,000 people. Each is named after some historical person or TV character, usually for comic effect. For example, Joe Dredd used to live in the Rowdy Yates block. Rowdy Yates was a character in the American TV cowboy drama Rawhide, played by a young Clint Eastwood. Eastwood would later play the lead in Dirty Harry, one of the thematic influences by which Judge Dredd was inspired. A number of stories feature rivalries between different blocks, on many occasions breaking into full scale gun battles between them such as in the story Block Mania. The story origins revealed that Mega City 1 was formed by urban sprawl rather than deliberate design, and by 2051 it was recognized as the world's first Mega City. The judges' powers reflect the difficulty of maintaining order. Mega City 1 extends from Boston to Charlotte, but extended into Florida before the apocalypse wore lay waste to the southern sectors. At its height, the city contained a population of about 800 million, after the apocalypse war. It was half to 400 million. Following Chaos Day in 2134, the city was reduced to 50 million. However, immigration quickly increased the population to 72 million by 2137. There are four other major population centers in Dreads, Northern America. The first is Texas City, including several of the southern former United States and based on Wild West manners. South of the city is Mex City. Far north is Uranium City. Canada now called Canadia, remains a nation with scattered communities. Megacity 2 once existed on the West Coast, but was destroyed in 2114 during the World War known as Judgment Day. Nuclear deserts and destruction elsewhere in the world are also extensive, much of the North Atlantic is severely polluted, and is now known as the Black Atlantic. An underwater settlement known as Atlantis exists in the Atlantic, halfway along a tunnel from Megacity 1 to Brit CIT, England. Nuclear desert also stretches across Western Europe. The British Isles are Brit CIT, Calhab, Scotland, and Murphyville in Ireland, a country-sized theme park depicting a stereotypical view of traditional Irish life. The continent has Euro City, Eastern France and part of Germany, Ciudad España, Eastern Spain, the Ruhr and Berlin Conurbs in Germany, Vatican City, and a scattering of other city-states.
Russia's East Meg 1 was destroyed by dread at the climax of the Apocalypse War in 2104. Further east is East Meg 2, which has other territories under the Sov Bloc banner. Mongolia, lacking a megacity or judge system, has called itself the Mongolian Free State and criminals have flocked there for a safe haven. East Meg 2 performed vicious clearances there in 2125. Compared to North America and Europe, South America is shown to be in much better condition. Large fertile farmlands still exist and feed many cities worldwide, as do jungles and a variety of wildlife. The main population centers are the highly corrupt cities of Ciudad Barranquilla in Argentina and Pan Andes Conurb in the Andes and the Bolivian and Peruvian borders. Formerly two other cities existed, Southam City and Brasilia, both of which were annihilated on Judgment Day. In Asia, separated from East Meg 2 by an extensive nuclear desert, are Sino City 1, destroyed during Judgment Day, and Sino City 2 in eastern China with Hong Tong built in the remains of Hong Kong and partitioned between Sino-CIT and Brit-CIT control. Hondo City lies on the remains of the islands of Japan. New Delhi, previously Indo-CIT and Delhi City, is in southern India. Surrounding Sino City 2 is the Radlands of G, a nuclear desert containing outlaw gangs and martial arts schools. In the Pacific cities survive in southeast Australia or Oz, the Sydney-Melbourne conurbation, the Solomon Islands, Solomon City, Tonga, Friendly City, and the New Pacific City, New Zealand is said to exist as well. All of Indonesia's islands are now linked by a network of mutant coral called the Web, described as a lawless hotbed of crime, although a city called Jakarta did exist there at one point but was lost on Judgment Day. The Middle East is without many major cities, being either nuclear or natural deserts, and only the mega city of Luxor, Egypt has survived, the Mediterranean coast is heavily damaged by mutagens. In Africa much of the south is nuclear desert and a great African dust bowl has formed in the northwest, but a large number of nation states have survived, whereof Simba City, Gabon, New Jerusalem, Ethiopia, Zambian Metropolitan, and Dar es Salaam are the largest cities. Nuclear fallout and pollution appear to have missed Antarctica and the Arctic, allowing one megacity, Antarctic City, to be constructed there. The high levels of pollution have created instances of mutation in humans and animals. The megacities largely operate on a system of genetic apartheid, making expulsion from the cities the worst punishment possible. Megacity 1 ended apartheid in the 2130s, but encourages mutants to move to cursed earth townships instead of remaining in the city. Earth's moon has been colonized, with a series of large domes forming Luna City. Another colony, Porto Lumini, exists but is lawless. In addition, many deep space colonies have been established. Some are loyal to various megacities, while many are independent states, and others still face violent insurgencies to gain independence. The multinational space core battles both insurgencies and external alien threats. The newly discovered planet Hestia, which orbits the Sun at 90 degrees to Earth's orbit, has a colony. There are some references to colonies on Mars, Saturn's moon Titan has a judicial penal colony, and Megacity 1 is known to have deep space missile silos on Pluto. The paranormal is both common and often openly visible and so is accepted by both civilians and judges. Ghosts, demons, ancient gods and two different creatures both claiming to be Satan have appeared in Mega City 1. Magic is real and has been practiced by some criminals. Psi divisions worldwide tend to be the main defense against such threats. Almost all of the stories from both comics are currently being reprinted in their original order of publication in a series of trade paperbacks. Stories from the regular issues of 2080 in the magazine are collected in a series entitled Judge Dredd, The Complete Case Files. This series began in 2005. Stories from special holiday issues and annuals appeared in Judge Dredd, The Restricted Files. This four-volume series began in 2010 and concluded in 2012. There have been a number of Judge Dredd storylines that have either significantly developed the Dredd character or the fictional world, or which depict a story on a grand scale. These are listed below. For a complete list of all stories see here. Shortly before the release of the 1995 movie, three new comic book titles were released, followed by a one-off comic version of the film story. DC Comics published an alternative version of Judge Dredd between 1994 and 1996 lasting 18 issues. Continuity and history were different from both the original 2080 version and the 1995 film. A major difference was that Chief Judge Fargo, portrayed as incorruptible in the original version, 
was depicted as evil in the DC version. Most issues were written by Andrew Helfer, but the last issue was written by Gordon Rennie, who has since written Judge Dredd for 2080. Note, the DC crossover story featured the original Dredd, not the version depicted in this title. Another DC Comics title, lasting 13 issues between 1994 and 1995. Although these were intended to feature the same version of Judge Dredd as in the other DC title, the first four issues were written by John Wagner and Alan Grant and were consistent with their original 2000 AD version. From the same publishers as 2000 AD, this was nevertheless a completely different version of Dread aimed at younger readers. Editor David Bishop prohibited writers from showing Dread killing anyone, a reluctance which would be completely unfamiliar to readers acquainted with the original version. As one reviewer put it years later, this was Judge Dread with two vital ingredients missing his balls. It ran fortnightly for 23 issues from 1995 to 1996, plus one action special. Written by Andrew Helfer and illustrated by Carlos Escura and Michael Danza. Published by DC Comics in 1995, but a different version of Dread to that in the DC Comics described above. From the same publishers as 2000 AD, this was a series of ultraviolet one-off stories from a separate and aggressive Dread world. The first eight episodes were originally published in Rock Power magazine, and were all co-written by John Wagner and Alan Grant and illustrated by Simon Bisley. These were reprinted, together with 11 new stories, some by other creators, in the Judge Dredd magazine. The original eight stories were collected in a trade paperback by Hamlin in 1993. The complete series was collected by Rebellion Developments in 2009. In the week that the 2012 film Dredd was released in the UK, a 10-page prologue was published in issue number 328 of the Judge Dredd magazine, written by its editor, Matt Smith, and illustrated by Henry Flint. Top of the world, Mama told the backstory of the film's main antagonist, Mama. Five more stories featuring this version of the character were published in the Judge Dredd magazine, under Bellion number 340 to 342, 2013, Uprise in number 350 to 354, 2014. Dust in number 367 to 371, 2015 16, Furies in number 386 to 387, 2017, and The Dead World in number 392 to 396, 2018. There were also two Judge Anderson stories featuring the film version of that character in number 377 to 379. An American film loosely based on the comic strip was released in 1995. Starring Sylvester Stallone as Dredd, it was said that Arnold Schwarzenegger was originally requested for the role, but declined because in the original script, Dredd would keep the helmet on during major parts of the film. The film received negative reviews upon its release. It currently holds a 15% rating on review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes, with the critical consensus stating that director, Danny, Cannon fails to find the necessary balance to make it work. In deference to its expensive Hollywood star, Dredd's face was shown dot in the comic, he very rarely removes his helmet, and even then his real face is never revealed. Also the writers largely omitted the ironic humor of the comic strip, and ignored important aspects of the Dredd mythology. For example, in the film a love interest is developed between Dredd and Judge Hershey, something that is strictly forbidden between judges, or judges and anyone else for that matter, in the comic strip. In the United States, the film won several Worst Film of the Year awards. The co-creator and main writer of the comic character, John Wagner, said. However the film has since been praised for its depiction of Dread City, costumes, humor and larger-than-life characters. Reliance Entertainment produced Dread, which was released in September 2012. It was positively received by critics with Rotten Tomatoes rating of 78%. It was directed by Pete Travis and written by Alex Garland. Michael S. Murphy was co-producer with Travis. Carl Urban was cast as Judge Dredd and Olivia Thurlby portrayed Judge Anderson. Dredd's costume was radically redesigned for the film, adding armor plates and reducing the size and prominence of the shoulder insignia. The main Judge Dredd writer John Wagner said. The film was shot in 3D and filmed in Cape Town in Johannesburg. Funding was secured from Reliance Big Entertainment. On May 10, 2017, Entertainment Weekly announced that independent entertainment studio and Global and Rebellion have partnered to develop a live-action TV show called Judge Dredd, Mega City One. The show is planned to be an ensemble drama about a team of judges as they deal with the challenges of the future shock 22nd century. According to Carl Urban, 
who previously played Dredd in the 2012 film of the same name. The studio's concept is to build the show around more rookie judges and young, new judges, where Dredd himself would come in and out. Urban stated that he would be interested in reprising the role for this, on the condition that Dredd's part of the story be implemented in a meaningful way. In November 2018, Rebellion will set up a studio for film and TV series based on 2080 characters, including Judge Dredd, Mega City 1. There have been multiple Judge Dredd games released for various video game consoles and several home computers such as the Sinclair ZX Spectrum, Sony PlayStation and Commodore 64. At one time, an arcade game was being developed by Midway Game Series but it was never released. It can however be found online and has three playable levels. A game loosely based on the first live-action film, called Judge Dredd was developed by Probe Software and released by acclaim for the Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, Game Boy, and Game Gear. Bally produced a Judge Dredd pinball machine based on the comics. In 1997, acclaim released a Judge Dredd arcade game, a rail shooter featuring 3D graphics and full-motion video footage shot specifically for the game was produced by Rebellion Developments and released in early 2003 by Sierra Entertainment for the PC, PlayStation 2, Xbox and Nintendo GameCube. The game sees the return of the Dark Judges when Mega City 1 becomes overrun with vampires and the undead. The player takes control of Judge Dredd, with the optional addition of another human player in cooperative play. The game a first-person shooter, with key differences such as the requirement to arrest lawbreakers, and an SJS death squad which will hunt down Dredd should the player kill too many civilians. The player can also go up against three friends in the various multiplayer modes which include deathmatch, team deathmatch, elimination, team elimination, informant, judges versus perps, runner and more. A novel was based on the game. A costume set for the PlayStation 3 video game Little Big Planet was released in May 2009 which contained outfits to dress the game's main character Sackboy as five 2080 characters one of which is Judge Dredd. Dredd's uniform is also used to create the Judge Anderson costume for the Sack people. In 2012, Rebellion released Judge Dredd vs. Zombies, a game application for iPhone, Android phones, Windows 8 and Windows Phone. Games Workshop released a role-playing game in 1985. Mongoose Publishing released the Judge Dredd role-playing game in 2002 and another Judge Dredd game using the Traveler system in 2009. Their license ended in 2016. In February 2017, N Publishing announced the new Judge Dredd in the worlds of 2080 tabletop adventure game using the Woman, What's Old is New, role-playing game system. On July 17, 2012 Tin Man Games released a Judge Dredd-themed digital role-playing gamebook titled Judge Dredd, Countdown Sector 106, available for the iOS operating system. Games Workshop produced a board game based on the comic strip in 1982. In the game players, who represent judges, attempt to arrest perps that have committed crimes in different location in Mega City 1. A key feature of the game is the different action cards that are collected during play. Generally these cards are used when trying to arrest perps although some cards can also be played against other players to hinder their progress. The winner of the game is the judge who collected the most points arresting perps. Players could sabotage each other's arrest attempts. Additionally, there were many amusing card combinations such as arresting Judge Death for selling gold comics, as the old comic selling crime card featured a 2000 AD cover with Judge Death on it. The game used characters, locations and artwork from the comic but is now out of print. In 1987, Games Workshop published a second Dread-inspired board game, Block Mania. In this game for two players, players take on the role of rival neighboring blocks at war. This was a heavier game than the earlier Dread board game, focused on tactical combat, in which players control these residents as they use whatever means they can to vandalize and destroy their opponent's block. Later the same year, Games Workshop released the Mega Mania expansion for the game, allowing the game to be played by up to four players. Mongoose Publishing have released a miniature skirmish game of gang warfare based in Mega City 1 called Gangs of Mega City 1, often referred to as Gom C1. The game features judges being called in when a gang challenges another gang that is too tough to fight. A wide range of miniatures has been released, including box sets for an ape gang and an undercity gang. A robot gang was also produced but was released as two blister packs instead of a box set. Only one rules expansion has been released, called Death on the Streets. The expansion introduced many new rules including usage of the new gangs and the ability to bring Judge Dredd himself into a fight. 
This game went out of print shortly thereafter but was replaced by the Judge Dread Miniatures game, which was published free in many stages as the company sought feedback from fans and players. In 2012, an expansion was released called Block War. Miniatures continue to be manufactured at a slow pace. In November 2017, Osprey Games announced their development of a new graphic adventure card game, entitled Judge Dread: The Cursed Earth. The game is designed based on The Lost Expedition, a game from designer Pierre Sylvester. In the game, one to five players, lead, a team of judges against dinosaurs, mutants, and the cursed earth itself. The game is scheduled to release on February 19, 2019. There was a short-lived collectible card game called Simply Dread. In the game players would control a squad of judges and arrest perp stop the rules system was innovative and the game was well received by fans and collectors alike, but various issues unrelated to the game's quality caused its early demise. There was a four-player pinball game released in 1993, produced by Bally Manufacturing. From 1993 to 1995, Virgin Books published nine Judge Dread novels. They had hoped the series would be a success in the wake of the feature film, but the series was cancelled after insufficient sales. The books are Also in 1995, St. Martin's Press published two novelizations of the film. In 1997 Virgin published a Doctor Who novel by Dave Stone which had originally been intended to feature Judge Dredd, called Burning Heart. However this idea was abandoned after the film was released, and Dredd was replaced by another character called Adjudicator Joseph Crater. From 2003 to 2007, Black Flame published official 2080 novels, including a new run of Judge Dredd novels. After Black Flame closed in 2007, Rebellion picked up the rights to their 2080 titles in 2011, and began republishing them as ebooks. Their nine Judge Dredd books are In July 2012, three of these novels, Gordon Rennie's Dredd vs. Death, David Bishop's Kingdom of the Blind, and Matt Smith's The Final Cut were republished at Dean a single paperback volume titled Dread, as a tie-in with the 2012 film of the same title. In August 2015 the nine Virgin Books novels were re-released as e-books. In August 2012 Rebellion announced a new series of e-books under the series titled Judge Dread, Year One, about Dread's first year as a judge, the stories in the comic strip having begun in his 20th year when he was already a veteran. All three stories were published in a paperback book called Judge Dread Year One Omnibus in October 2014. The Black Flame series of paperback titles were also released as e-books, with the majority of the titles available on Amazon.com. In 2016 more e-books were published under the series titled Judge Dread Year Two. In May 2018, a series of three books, collectively called Judges, was announced. These are not about Dread but about the first generation of Judges, and are set six decades before Dread's first stories to appear in the comic. The announced books are The Day the Law Died and the Apocalypse War stories were produced by Dirk Nags and broadcast in three-minute segments, 40 for each story, on Mark Goodyear afternoon show on BBC Radio 1 in 1995. The cast include Lorelai King and Gary Martin. They were issued separately on dual cassette and double CD both titles have since been deleted. The Apocalypse War contains plot elements from Block Mania, as this story set the scene for the main story. In recent years Big Finish Productions has produced 18 audio plays featuring 2080 characters. These have mostly featured Judge Dredd although three have also featured Strontium Dog. In these Judge Dredd is played by Toby Longworth and Johnny Alpha, the Strontium Dog is played by Simon Pegg. In July 2009 four further Judge Dredd titles were released under the banner Crime Chronicles once more featuring Toby Longworth. The list of 2080 audio plays featuring Dread includes Note, 3 and 10 are Strontium Dog stories that do not feature Dread. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.